Audiobook Academy Biography Presents. Karl Marx. The Communist Manifesto and Das Kapital, two anti-capitalist works by German philosopher and revolutionary socialist Karl Marx, were published in Germany. Among the young Hegelians at his university, Karl Marx first became interested in socio-political theories. Expulsion from Germany and France were the result of his socialist publications. After the publication of the Communist Manifesto in 1848, he was banished to London, where he authored the first volume of Das Kapital and spent the rest of his life. Childhood. Heinrich and Henrietta Marx had a total of nine children, including Karl Heinrich Marx, who was born in Trier, Prussia. His father was a well-to-do lawyer who admired Voltaire and Kant and was a staunch supporter of Prussian reforms. Karl's father converted to Christianity in 1816 at the age of 35, despite the fact that both his parents were Jewish with rabbinical background. An 1815 statute barring Jews from high society most likely prompted this professional acquiescence. Because he equated Protestantism with intellectual freedom, he was baptized a Lutheran rather than a Catholic, the dominant faith in Trier. His mother delayed Karl's baptism until 1825, when her father died, even though he was christened when he was six years old with the other children. Marx was a good student. He was schooled at home until the age of 12 and then attended Trier's Jesuit High School, the Friedrich Wilhelm Gymnasium, for five years from 1830 to 1835. As a liberal and a Kantian, the head of Marx's old school was well liked by the Rhinelanders, but he was viewed with suspicion by the authorities. In 1832, the school was being watched and looted. Education. Marx enrolled in the University of Bonn in October of 1835 and began his studies there in November of that year. Marx was a regular participant in student life, which was characterized by a vibrant and rebellious atmosphere. He was imprisoned for intoxication and disturbing the peace, accrued debts, and took part in a duel during his two semesters at the university. He insisted on Marx's enrolling in University of Berlin at the end of that year. At the University of Berlin, he studied law and philosophy under G.W.F. Hegel, a philosopher who served as a professor until his death in 1831 and was a prominent figure in Berlin intellectual life. The Young Hegelians, a radical group of students that included Bruno Bauer and Ludwig Feuerbach who railed against the political and ecclesiastical establishments of the day, quickly drew Marx into their ranks, despite his initial skepticism toward Hegel. At the height of his political activism in 1836, Marx secretly became engaged to Jenny von Westphalen, a renowned trier socialite four years his senior. As a result of this, and his son's growing radicalism, his father was worried. Letters written by Marx's father expressed concern over what the elder Marx perceived as demons in his son and reprimanded him for not taking the obligations of marriage seriously enough, particularly when his future wife was from a higher social level. Marx was not content to stay put. He earned his Ph.D. in 1841 from Jena University but he was unable to secure a teaching position because of his extreme politics. The liberal Rheinische Zeitung newspaper in Cologne hired him as its editor in 1842, when he had just begun his career in journalism. The government ordered the newspaper's suppression on April 1, 1843, just one year later. On the 18th of March, Marx announced his resignation. He married Jenny von Westphalen in June, and they relocated to Paris in October. Paris. In 1843, Paris was Europe's political capital. Marx and Arnold Ruhe started the Deutsche Französische Jurabutcher, a political periodical, there, German-French annals. In August of 1844, the publication brought Friedrich Engels and Karl Marx together through a contributor, who would go on to become a partner and longtime friend due to philosophical differences between Marx and Ruhe. A critique of Bruno Bauer, a young Hegelian and a friend of Marx's, was written by the two of them as a team. The Holy Family, the first product of Marx and Engels' first cooperation, was released in 1845. That year, Marx was exiled from France for his writings in Forbearts, a radical publication affiliated with an organization that would later become the Communist League. He relocated to Belgium later that year. Brussels. Moses Hess exposed Marx to socialism in Brussels, and Marx eventually broke away from the young Hegelian's worldview totally. He published The German Ideology, in which he first formulated his theory of historical materialism, while he was in Germany. Despite this, Marx was unable to find a publisher, and the German ideology and theses on Feuerbach were not published until after his death. An attempt to connect socialists from all over Europe was made by Karl Marx in 1846 when he established the Communist Correspondence Committee, CCC. At a central committee meeting in London in 1847, Marx and Engels were requested to compose Manifest der Kommunistischen Partei in response to their inspiration from his ideas, 
Manifesto of the Communist Party. Karl Marx was banished from Belgium shortly after the publication of the Communist Manifesto in 1848. To avoid being deported back to the Soviet Union, he traveled to France in the hopes of joining the Socialist Revolution. Marx left Prussia for London after Prussia refused to renaturalize him. In spite of the fact that he was refused British citizenship, he stayed in London until his death. London. Marx helped found the German Workers' Educational Society and the Communist League's New London headquarters in London. The New York Daily Tribune employed him from 1852 until 1862 as a correspondent, although he never made enough money to support himself and was mostly supported by Engels. In 1867, Marx released the first volume of Das Kapital, a collection of essays on capitalism and economic theory. Writing and rewriting manuscripts for further volumes that he never finished took up the rest of his time until his death in 2010. Engels compiled and published the two remaining volumes after his death. Death. Marx passed away from pleurisy on March 14, 1883 in London. However, in 1954, the Communist Party of Great Britain created a massive monument to Marx's memory, replacing the original generic headstone. The Communist Manifesto's final phrase, Workers of all lands unite and a passage from Feuerbach's theses are engraved into the stone. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for more content like this, see you in next video.